Good morning. Welcome to Market Mashup, our weekly recap of financial markets and what's on tap for this week that might move stocks and bonds. I'm Scott Naska, President of Generation Capital Management. A mixed week last week for the major indices is the Dow Jones was down 2.7 percent. S&P 500 was down 0.66 percent and the Nasdaq was the winner last week up 0.55 percent. Um, so it was mixed uh, you know, for, for last week. Uh, year to date so far, markets are positive. We've had a good buying spree in the first three weeks of 2023, and that's propelled markets higher. So I think there's been a little, uh, uh, you know, a little buying on the side of the investors, a little more appetite for risk. And we've seen that in the moves of the markets. Just taking a look at the bond markets, as I like to mention now, the two year is at a 4.20% and the 10 years at 3.53. So we're still inverted. And the yield curve, um, which means, uh, you know, it's leading to an economic slowdown or a recession. That's usually what those will uh, or tend to be when you see uh, the short end of the yield curve higher than the long end. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. You know, the markets uh, don't really like economic slowdowns and the yield curve at least is trying to um, you know, give some warning signs that are going across. A lot of things going on tap this week. <clears throat> we have uh, earnings coming out, to, you know, some of the major tech companies. Uh, Tesla and Microsoft will be uh, coming out with earnings, as well as Johnson & Johnson, Visa, and Chevron. So you're going to get a good mix of um, you know, different sectors out there in the financials, the healthcare, as well as the energy sectors. Just, just get an idea, in addition to tech, to see you know, what uh, their viewpoint of quarter four 2022 was, and then going forward, you know, how they think uh, things are going to shape out for 2023. So Pay attention to that. We also have some data points coming out. Q4 uh, GDP data will be released on Thursday. New home sales are also released on Thursday. We have December PCE inflation that's coming out on Friday. And pending home sales are out on Friday as well. And then also we have, you know, Fed governor speaking this week too. So, you know, pay attention to them. See if they can uh, give any uh, ideas in terms of, uh, you know, any direction that might happen at the next meeting. Right now, the market uh, you know, we've hear, heard some talk about some of the governors saying, you know, maybe slow down to 25 basis points at this meeting, whereas others have said 50 basis points. Uh, so I think there's still consensus in terms of an increase. Just don't know in terms of how much, if it's going to be 25 or 50 basis points. So we want to see and hear if any of those um, Fed governors, when they're speaking, you know, sort of tip their hands or at least provide some ideas in terms of their thought process on uh, interest rate policy going forward. The market's going to pay attention to it, so just keep an eye out on that. You know, we also have the uh, congressional leaders looking to extend the, uh, you know, the debt ceiling. I'm going to pay attention to that as well, because there's, you know, always talk of, you know, we need extensions, and if it doesn't happen, then, you know, a lot of issues could happen. So the markets, you know, are going to look at that, but they usually tend to get extended. But, uh, you know, you just have to go through the theatrics in terms of how things move um, and our, our congressional leaders out there. So uh, please feel free to reach us on our website, www.gencapmgmt. Get some uh, updates, financial planning, John's top tips. Please take a look at those. Uh, always informative in terms of the, uh, you know, what's going out there in the world of financial planning and things that might uh, make it easier on you or at least pay attention to. So give us a call. Be glad to answer any questions you have. Our team's ready to help out in anything you have. If you want to have a look at your portfolio, give you a second opinion. Um, if you want to make sure just that your allocations are in line with your risk tolerances and meeting your goals and objectives, we're happy to do that as well. Once again, my name is Scott Naska, President of Generation Capital Management, and this is Market Mashup. Have a great week, everyone.